Dwayne Zachary, and I want to welcome you to this month's Salute to Service. Where once again, we're at the Medina County Veterans Memorial Hall. And we're going to have lunch with some veterans today, and I hope you enjoy our show. Hopefully, we'll get some good interviews and hear a little bit about their service. My name is Phil Grassa. I am the president of the Medina County Veterans Hall, and I am sure pleased and proud to have all you guys sitting here with me. That means I'm still kicking. So, with that being said, I'm going to introduce our chaplain to say an opening prayer, and when that's done, we're going to get to the better part. We're going to start eating. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, we are honored to be here among these heroes, the heroes of yesterday and even up toward today. We thank you for the contribution that it made to our nation, that it might be strong and that it might continue on a straight course with your love and service. We thank you, O oh Lord, for those who have gone through such trying and difficult times and with your hand have found it safely here. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the support that we receive and are able to give one to another, the assurance that you are always with us, that all these things, near and far, shall be conquered through the, uh, the victory which we know in you. Use us, O oh Lord, as your continuing instruments of goodwill, that it might be a better world, and that we might reach out to those who are near with love and affection, even as our hearts have been touched by that same love. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, while we're waiting, how many army guys do we have here? <coughs> yeah, it's a pretty good showing. Got any Navy? Oh, <laughs> all right. How about Coast Guard? Ah, Dave, yay. <laughs> Marines. Ooh, ah. All right. Any Air Force guys? Oh, three. I got three in me, four. We rule. <laughs> so uh, while we're waiting, they're, they're getting ready to serve the food and that. Uh, Ed Zachary is the head of the Medina County Veteran Service Organization. I just want to bring him up and let him in, introduce himself. So we do veterans benefits and pretty much anything that you need to do at the VA. How many people here are enrolled in VA health care or VA anything? A couple of you? So quite a few of you maybe? Okay, so if anybody ever needs any help at any time with the VA, give me a call and I'll, I'll be happy to sit down and talk to you. I'll send somebody out or I'll come out myself and talk to you about benefits and things like that and see if maybe you're eligible for anything. Um, we are going to be walking around. I'm, I'm hoping I can put a microphone in front of you and you tell me your name and you know what service, branch of service you served in and the years you served and maybe a little bit about your service and then way we can share that with the people back in your homes and the people throughout Medina County. When did serve? Uh, 59 to 61. 59 to 61. Where were you stationed at? Well, Gordon and uh, Jackson and Gordon. Fort Gordon and Fort Jackson? Yeah. What did you do in the service? Oh, well, I was in the carpenter shop. Oh. To, yeah. Well, that's a pretty good job, isn't it? Oh, it's a hell of a good job. So you made stuff, right? Yeah. What did you do after you got out of the service? You become a carpenter then, or did you do something else? No. I, I worked the railroad. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. thanks for talking. You got anything Four, you want to? You 42 got Forty-two years. Forty-two years on the railroad. Yeah. For who? Well, Penn. Uh, it started out with the Pennsylvania Railroad. Mm -hmm. Then it was Penn Central. Okay. Conrail, same place. Yep. And I retired from an N and S. All right. Anything you want to tell our viewers out there? What? Anything you want to tell our viewers out there? No. Okay. Thanks for talking to okay. me. Okay. <laughs> So with me, I have Mr. Phil Grassa, who's one of the Medina County Veteran Service Commissioners, but also in charge of the hall, more or less, right? That is correct. Took over last year, and I'm starting my second year uh, right now in, in June. So what are we doing here today? Well, it's a kind of a tradition that we have here at the hall that we invite uh, all the nursing homes that have veterans that are ambulatory that can come down to the hall 
and twice a year we put on a big luncheon for them with a guest speaker and a little program and and of course you guys interview them right so how many veterans do you think we got here today? uh they're we we're shy a little bit about i probably have about 44 to 46. right and for the most part they seem to enjoy it so far yeah well, the food's good right well, absolutely i cooked it where's the food come from <laughs> yeah Kenny King's in, in Medina. Kenny King's, I mean KFC. KFC, I'm right. sorry, I'm old, all right? <laughs> Give me a break. All right, and how do you how do you get it from uh, KFC? You go down there and per purchase it? or uh, I, I go down, per I worked out a deal. They gave us special pricing for the veterans. They box it up, I pick it up with my card, and we bring it in, and we have a warming oven. Great or, deal. So. And, and all this is funded by the, the hall, I By the hall, yes. Right. Great, yeah. great, great, great. Well, thanks, Phil, for talking You're to me, all right? Good to see you. Okay. And I spent four years in the Marine Corps from 41 until 46. I spent time in, mostly in the Pacific, Saipan, Tidian, and Okinawa, Guam, and I wound up in China for five months. And I came home, thank goodness, for all the good buddies I had with me. But I did lose two good buddies and never made it back. So, uh, uh, <coughs> I was happy to come out to this because at my age, I'm 98 and my daughter will make 99. So. Well, God bless you. You're going to be 99 soon then, huh? No, November. Well, all right. All right. Well, her, I'm not going to wish you a happy birthday because I'm going to see you again, all right? <laughs> I hope so. All right. So thank you for your service, sir. Thank you for remembering. <laughs> thank you. So when did uh, you serve? Uh, World War II, 44 to 46. First Engineer Special Brigade, 286 Joint Assault Signal Company. In the Army, huh? In the Army, very specialized unit that uh, we we're responsible for all the communications on the beachhead from the Beachmaster to the short wave link to Washington. So which beach? I, I, I was never involved in any of the invasions. Mm -hmm. The unit made five, North Africa, Sicily, Salerno, Anzio, and Normandy. They never lost a man until they hit Normandy. They took in 603, brought back 187. Wow. I was one of the replacements. Our Higgins boats were loaded with all of our gear and our bee bags and so forth, ready for Operation Olympic and Cornet, when Hen Harry dropped the bomb. And we said, thank you very much. Well, very, very good, very good. So, so, uh, uh, so I was always getting ready and never really Never really did much. <laughs> well, you were there, and we thank yep. you for your service. So, uh, I was, let's say, a staff sergeant in charge of the uh, unit that provides communications for the naval ground observers. Oh, all right. So calling in naval gunfire. I oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's a big yeah, job. The, those guys were calling in eight-inch shells right. within with a hundred yards of their position. Yeah, and that's a big <laughs> shell dropping that close. <laughs> that's pretty that close. That is. That is. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks for your service. <laughs> Philip, which branch of service did you serve in? Marine Corps. The Marine Corps. So, who, who, hoorah! Is that it? <laughs> All right. When, when did you serve? Which years? In the 53. 50, at the end of the 53? Yeah. What did you do in the Marine Corps? Infantry or were you doing something else? Yeah, something else. They, they put me in the, in, the, in the kitchen to cook. All right, well, that's a pretty good job. That's important because the infantry's got to eat, right? Well, yeah, we, I didn't go hungry. All right, thank you for your service, sir. Okay, thank you. So which branch of service did you serve in? I was a grunt. You were a grunt in the Army? Yeah. All right, Where, what years did you serve? In 1953 to 55. Were you in Korea or? Yeah, they were in the tent. You were in the tent. At the All time. Right. All right. And so uh, I wasn't in country, but... Uh, we ended up in special services. Well, there you go. Yeah, not bad duty. All right. You look at it. Anything you want to say to our viewers out there about your service? Well, just uh, I want to thank them, the real heroes, those who didn't come back. We want to keep them always in our prayers. All right. I agree with that. Yeah. Amen. All right. Thank you for your service, John. Yeah. All right. Have Ed. a good day. Thanks, Ed. Where'd you serve at? England. England? In the 8th Air Force. In the 8th Air Force. What'd you do in the service? I was a... Uh, Aerial engineer. A what? The aerial engineer. So were you on the flight? You were in the air, actually in the aircraft. Yeah. What's the engineer do on the aircraft? Uh, he advises the pilot primarily. Uh, 
mechanical. Mechanical. It's kind of like a, a mechanic, maintenance guy on the, on the plane. Uh, you went to mechanic school first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then became an engineer. So how many, uh, I know there was like a certain amount of flights that you were, what kind of plane were you on first? And then yeah. how many flights did you do over there? Uh, 35 flights and on the B-17. B-17. So you met the quota because wasn't it 35 and then you were done? Uh, yeah. And I, I heard a lot of guys did more than 35. They put them on another aircraft. Well, some of the guys went 50. Yeah. But, you remember any of the bombing runs specifically? Yeah, like where you went to? Oh, I went to Schweinfurt. Um, I lived in Schweinfurt. You did? <laughs> Not back then, but I did in the 90s. So go ahead. Yeah. So the ball bearing factory was the big target in Schweinfurt, yeah, that, right? That's right. Yeah. And uh, we went to uh, Cologne, I, I think three times to Cologne, yeah. up and down the River Valley. Well, I want to thank you for your service. Anything you want to say to our viewers about the Air Force or about your service in World War II? It was good to me. It was good to you. Well, it was good to us, too. Thank you very much. Okay. So which branch of service? Army. Army? Yeah. I guess all us Army guys are pretty damn good looking, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. See, the girls are laughing. They agree with us. Yeah, well. When did you serve, John? In the, all in the 50s. All in the 50s? What did you do in the service? <coughs> I drove a, tr a truck. I was a, tr I drove a tractor trailer. Okay. In the field. So a big truck, like a fuel yeah. tank or anything? Yeah. No, not a fuel tank. Just a ammunition. Oh, ammunition truck. Okay. All right, well, I want to thank you for your service. Anything you want to say to our viewers out there? No, not at all. Okay, all right. Thank you for your service. You bet. All right, have a good day. So which branch of service? I was in the, I went in in the waves and became regular Navy when they changed to waves. Okay, to which Navy. year was that? 1951 through 55 was my active duties. And where did you serve at? I started down in uh, Naval Air Station in Norfolk, Virginia. Oh, wow. And I helped to, to teach the, uh, the use of radar equipment to pilots and air crewmen uh -huh. in, the opera, in their search of submarines. Okay. All right. Well, I want to thank you for your service. Thank you. Okay, it was an adventure. I enjoyed it. Great. I'm glad. <laughs> thank you. So, John, tell me a little about which branch of service were you in. I was in the Army. In the Army. I can tell. Yeah. You're good looking. Uh, yeah. All those oh, Army guys are oh good. yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, uh, when did Not you... like these Navy boys. There you go. <laughs> when, when, did you, when did you serve? Uh, it was uh, 46, 40, 47. 47? Yeah. Where, where were you at? Uh, I, was, I was headed for uh, Japan, and, and they said the war was over, so they cut us loose. Which division were you in? I was, uh, I was in the... Uh, I was attached to the uh, First Army, mm -hmm. First Cavalry. Uh, what was your job? Do you remember? I was, a, I was a mechanic. Okay. All right. Uh, great. Well, I bet you that was pretty good that they dropped that bomb and you didn't have to go to Japan. Yeah. Right? yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anything you'd like to tell our viewers about your service? Well, I, I didn't get, get to see a whole lot of. I got a lot of the country, but uh, right. it was different parts of the country I was in, but uh, I didn't get. Uh, Overseas, that, uh, yeah. Well, I want to thank you for uh, your service. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I was I was young. <laughs> Not too long ago. Yeah. All right. Thank you for but, your service, John. You know how old I am now? How old? I guess. Uh, Ninety-two. No, you missed it. Ninety-one? Ninety-three. All right. You look like you're 79, though. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, John. Okay. So, Larry, I see that you served in the Army. Yeah, I served, yeah, 59, 58 to 60. What did you do in the service? I was on the German Czech Border Patrol. Oh, right. Months. So, like the Fulda Gap area? Yeah, we watched the series where Russians would come over. Yeah. And, and how did you enjoy your time in Germany back then? Was, well, I had a good, good, good and bad, you good know, you bad. Had good days. And, yeah. When we were out on patrol, sometimes it was rough, but yeah. we drove a, I drove a tank, M48. Really? Yeah. Did you drink any of the beer over there while you were there? Or? Just a little. Just a little. It's pretty yeah. good, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Any, any experiences you want to share with our viewers? No, it just was a normal, everyday duty to do and right. uh, enjoyed it over there. Well, I want to thank you for your service. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it.
So, Michael, tell me a little bit about which branch of service and when did you serve? Navy, 1956 to 1968 or something like that. So, quite a while. So, what did, what did you do in the Navy? Hospital corpsman. Hospital corpsman. So, were you with the Navy or the Marine Corps? Both. Both. The Marines were on my ship. Okay. All right. Which ship? USS Sullivan's and USS Independence. Okay. All right. And, and any experiences you want to share with us? Well, I had a lot of good experience. Yeah? And I wish that I never got out. <laughs> I mean, like, I loved it. Yeah, you loved it? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you go? Well, we started out in Norfolk. We traveled all over the e Mideast and all that. And okay. Vietnam. And so you served during the Vietnam War over right, there? Yeah. Were you over there? Over Vietnam, yes. Yeah. yes what yeah. kind of ship is the Sullivan? Destroyer. Destroyer? Yep. Mm -hmm. Any any brown water? Did you go up any rivers or anything over there? We probably did. I was yeah. sleeping. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for your service. Thank you very much. All sir. right. Thank you. At this point in time, I'd like to uh, have the honor and privilege of introducing our mayor of the city of Medina and uh, Dennis Hanwell. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. It's my honor to be here with you all, and I, I want to start by thanking all of you for uh, your service to our country and the uh, freedoms that we have today because of uh, each and every one of you. Uh, just a few things. I'm not going to talk very long. I, I know you don't want to hear that. So uh, I did not have the honor of serving in the military like you all. Uh, when I was uh, five years old, I, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and have been insulin dependent for the last 57 years. And because of that, when I talked to the, uh, the military, they said, well, then you can't, you can't join. You can't join. So what I did is the next best thing uh, is got in public service. And um, I, I served the uh, sheriff's department for two and a half years uh, as a special deputy. I served uh, tw almost 26 years at the Medina Police Department in every rank there, the last 13 of the 26 as the chief of police. And then uh, I'm in my 10th year now as the mayor and safety director for the city of Medina. And thank you. The, o the other great advantage uh, that I have as, as the mayor and as the police chief uh, was to help the veterans in any way we can. Uh, so when I was a sergeant and a, for two years, a lieutenant for five years, and the chief for 13, I led the Memorial Day Parade as the lead car every, every single year. And now for my 10 years as mayor, I ride in the lead car. I don't drive it, but I ride in the lead car uh, again to support the veterans. And I'm so proud of our community because uh, most communities, if they even have a Memorial Day Parade, it's, it's much more... Uh, political or much more um, throwing candy and, and that sort of thing as opposed to the real reason that we have the Memorial Day Parade and that's to honor those that have, have given their lives for our country. And um, thank, thank you to Dave Taylor uh, and the group that organizes that and keeps reminding those. Uh, they control everybody that gets in the parade. Uh, from the bands uh, to the people that are going to march, and it's very clear. There's not going to be sirens. There's not going to be horns. There's not going to be candy. This is to cause reverence uh, to those who gave their lives. A couple of the other things is um, I've worked with uh, Dave Taylor uh, both in February of 2018 and 19. We hosted a four chaplains service. Um, at, at uh, different churches, myself along with uh, Dave and four local pastors uh, to talk about the four chaplains that, that gave their life uh, in World War II, actually gave up their life jackets in, in a, a ship that was sinking uh, to, save, to save their lives, uh, the, the, the men's lives. And um, I just a week ago, ac actually not quite a week, this, pa this past Saturday I was on the square and there were 17 brand new uh, young men and women joining the Army. And I have the opportunity, that was the 244th birthday for the Army, I have the opportunity to, to help them cut the birthday cake, uh, to talk about our support of the military, and also to, uh, author, or, or to authorize the oath of enlistment for those 17 members. And Medina County, of the nine county region, Medina County of Northern Ohio, we are one of the 
the largest draws for the military of any of the other counties in that nine. Uh, I go to a ceremony every spring in May for seniors that are graduating and going into the military. And I can tell you from the various divisions, Medina County is, is outranking uh, the other eight counties. And I'm very proud of that because it, it shows from the Civil War, we have folks buried in, in our cemetery next to the county administration building from the Civil War to today. Um, the county of Medina in this region has been very supportive of the military. Uh, the, o the other thing that we've done is um, since the attacks on our uh, country in New York on September 11, 2001, I got together with the leader of the uh, Medina Community Band, Marcus Nyman, um, Father Tony from St. Francis Church, and Ed Zachary from our, our Veterans Association, and we plan a Veterans Day concert every, every year around Veterans Day, and we host it at the Catholic Church and uh, invite all of the veterans again to, to have another event to recognize them uh, and their service. And I'm just so thankful to be the mayor of a, a community that supports our veterans, as well as active service members and their families. And again, I just wanna thank each and every one of you for your service. Uh, we are a better community, a better state, and a better country as a result of you. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you, thank sir. you Mayor. Yes, sir. You. Well, we got on. Got on? Yeah, time. How about that? A, a politician that cuts it short and says the truth. Boy. <laughs> I want to give a hand to the people back in the kitchen that helped put all this together, and they're just doing it. So let's give them a hand. Also, the young lady over in the corner here is a Navy veteran, and I didn't mean to not mention Navy waves when I called the different branches of service. My apologies. Well, now you see what this hall means to veterans. To me, I took it, like I said, I took it over last year and continue on. And it is a personal, I uh, guess, drive to make this a home for all veterans. I'd like to be able to see this thing grow where we'll be able to open up more often and throw more of these uh, ceremonies and things, not only for the veterans, but the veterans' families, and maybe we can get some young troops in here. So if you, if you have any grandchildren, I have to say grandchildren, my children all in the 40s and 50s, so I say grandchildren, and they're interested in the, a military career, I don't think they could go wrong, at least that's what I've told uh, my grandchildren. And hopefully, maybe you'll mention that and remind them that if they can get lucky and live in Medina County as a vet, we're here for them. Not that you wouldn't be anyplace else, but the hope of Ed Zachary, the VSO, Dave Taylor, the head commander of the American Legion, uh, and the other commanders that we have in this facility, we're all here for you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ed Zachary, Director and Service Officer for the Medina County Veteran Service Office. If you're a veteran or a widow of a veteran and you need assistance in filing a claim with the Department of Veterans Affairs, give us a call, 1-844-722-3800. That's 1-844-722-3800.
I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically over institutions of learning. I stand guard with power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand, I stand for, peace, for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident. I'm arrogant. I am proud. When, when I have flown, flown with, with my, my fellow, fellow banners, banners, my head is a little higher, my colors a little truer. I bow, I bow to, to no one. one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshipped. I am saluted. I am loved. I am revered. I am respected. And I am feared. I, I have fought, fought in every, every battle, battle of every war, war for more than 200 years. I was flown at Valley Forge, Gettysburg, Shiloh, and Appomattox. I was there at San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, in the Aragon Forest, Anzio, Rome, and the beaches of Normandy, and Guam, Okinawa, Korea, Quezon, Saigon, and Vietnam know me. I was there. I, I led, led my, my troops. troops. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired. My soldiers cheered me, and I was proud. I have been burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of countries I have helped set free. It does not hurt, for I am invincible. I, I have, have been, been soiled, soiled upon, upon, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of my country, and when it's by those whom I have served in battle, it hurts. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. I, I have, have slipped the bonds of earth and stood watch over the uncharted frontiers of space from my vantage point on the moon. I have borne silent witness to all of America's finest hours, but my finest hours are yet to come. When I am torn into strips and used as bandages for my wounded comrades on the battlefield, when I am flown at half-mast to honor my soldier, or when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving parent at the grave of their fallen son or daughter, I am proud. My, my name is Old Glory. Glory. Long, Long may I live. Dear God, God in heaven. heaven. Long may I live.